on Divorce Court today. Shantae and Tyrese got married one week after they met and separated one month later. She says he lied about his eight children. He says one of his ex-girlfriends caused their breakup. Shantae Golnick and Tyrese Walker have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toler to resolve. Testimony in Divorce Court starts now. Ms. Golnick, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question here. This is your fourth marriage. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and you have two kids from previous relationships. Yes. You've been married to this brother for about 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> and you ready to get rid of him already. You looking for a divorce? You want uh, to recover some things that you spent during the course of the marriage, all in those 30 days. You want me to give that back? And, and, and Mr. Walker, this is your second marriage. Yeah. And you have eight kids sure. from previous relationships, OK? Yeah. So I just wanted to get the lay of the land first before I started in on what we're doing here. So why don't you tell me? How could things go so badly in 30 days that you want a divorce? Well, uh, he's a habitual liar and a cheat. Just say baby mama. That's it. M Mr. Walker, we're going to have a problem I'm already. We, we, we a minute into this thing, <laughs> and that's one. OK. Ms. Golnick, why don't you tell me something, a lie that you've caught him in, or a woman you caught him cheating with? He logged onto my computer into his email. Mm -hmm. He forgot to close his email. Mm -hmm. I checked his email, and it had one of the websites that we met on, on there. So uh -huh. I got a little curious, mm -hmm. you know? I go in there, I start searching around, checking around. He's talked to many, several different women. I see that it says single and that he's looking for someone. You know, so I revised his, his, his website. And in what manner did you revise his website? I Don't took the me? pictures that he had down and posted up our wedding, uh, wedding <laughs> photos. <laughs> That's a good one. And I never heard that one before. I, That's a good I put one. That, I put that we were married. I put um, on his about me, I wrote, my wife found out about my page, so now I need someone to stay with. Can I stay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Walker, did that happen? Yes, it did happen. Okay. <laughs> but okay. see, but what, Go it, ahead. Happened. <clears throat> it happened. But the only thing it did was drew more attention to me. You see what I'm saying? So you got more responses. More responses. More. Yeah. More. No, no okay. that's not but, true. But let me ask you this, Mr. Walker. That is Why not true. were you looking? I mean, 30 <laughs> days into a marriage, you guys should still be chasing each other around the house looking because for love. Because she did something. She did something in those 30 days that really turned me around. Well, you know? well tell me what that was. She had a friend come to the house. Yeah. Okay. And that friend wasn't really a friend. You know what I mean? That friend and, was a friend. Ms. Golnick. See, I'm talking. See how you want now, to do Mr. this? Now, Wa Mr. Walker, I can handle this. OK. She don't even know it. I want to <laughs> know about the friend, Mr. Walker. All right. So she had a friend. I'm like, man, it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm getting out of work, you know? So, you know, me, I'm, I'm jealous. I ain't going to lie. I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I go, I go in the house because I don't even want to see it. So here she come, here he come. I'm like, what is this? But no, I mean, <laughs> so I go back outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I go back outside. Here she come, here he come. I'm like, oh, no, I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? I really go some, you he know? And it's like, damn. So I'm like, so then I just put two and two together. I'm like, I, I basically I just came to my conclusion, like, hey, what happened? So, so now, do you know the guy that he's talking about? Yes, I know the guy he's talking Was about. Was there anything illicit going on between the two of you? Not at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how long did it take for you to become inappropriate with this guy while married well, to this man? Actually, a month after I kicked him out the house. You started seeing that other guy again. Yes. You know, it's never good mojo to have an ex hovering about in the context <laughs> of your marriage. Well, you know what I mean? Technically, he wasn't an ex. He was a friends with benefits, and then we cut off the benefits part, and we just stayed friends. Thank you. And we hadn't mm -hmm. done anything in a long time. And, you know, every once in a while, I would, you know, uh, we would help each other out. And at the time, I was helping him out. I think this friends with benefits nonsense has got to go. You know, sex has become like, well, there's nothing good on Channel 7. Let's do it. <laughs> but anyway, 
You decided to get divorced after 30 days. Let me ask you how long you knew one another before you got married. <laughs> You want to answer, Mr. Well, I'm going to start with Mr. Walker. Mr. Walker, how long did you know each other when you... a couple weeks. A couple of weeks. <laughs> now, Mr. Walker, tell me what happened in those 14 days that made you say, this is the woman for me? Okay, she treated me good. I mean, she made me happy. I don't lie. She did. You know what I'm saying? I did fall in love with her. I sure did. Cruella DeVille can be fun for 14 days. My point mean... exactly. <laughs> But no, no, you know, she treated me. She treated me like, you know, she gave me that what I was looking for. See, this would be good information for women all over the world. To know what you could do to a man in 14 days and make, a, make him put a ring on your finger. So <laughs> tell us all what she did to capture you. She was, um, she was there for me. Um, made me feel like a man sometimes. Um... <laughs> And not much more than that. I mean, I'm simple. I'm, I'm simple but complex, but she, she all right. She's a good woman, but she's just not the woman for me. That's were you cheating you were saying, on man. her at any point in time during nope. the marriage? I wasn't even cheating when she caught those emails. Basically, when I seen dude come around the house, hell, I'm like, hell, that's what you want to do? We're going to do this together then. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, so let me go find me a friend then. You know what I mean? <laughs> let me ask you this, Ms. Goldnick. That wasn't even the issue. Have you two... Hey, 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 hey. Have you two ever had a conversation about the nature of your relationship, how things are going, what's going on, or how things are going to work? Yes. Or, or are you just impulsive? Like, oh, he looks good, he feels good, let me bring him on. No, mm -hmm. actually, we did have a, rela uh, a, a conversation, but obviously it was a one-sided conversation because he wasn't listening. I was listening. Really? It's just that when, you know, you know... With, with... Okay, I got Obviously. you. Mr. Walker, I understand she's not the only one she... that had an ex involved in this situation. No. So I want to go mm -hmm. and talk about your ex. Next, is Tyrese's former girlfriend really to blame for this divorce? Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Couples in crisis, real resolution. Divorce Court continues. So, Mr. Walker, I understand that an ex of yours, I don't know if it's a wife or a girlfriend or what, called Mrs. Golnick and shared some information you would have preferred her not to have shared. Okay, yes, yes, ma'am, that did happen. Okay, what happened? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna sort it from the beginning, from the bottom, and then coming up from the top. Okay. I went to go get my clothes from my house, which I have given to my ex, okay? My ex went into Mrs. Golnick's car, got her phone number, and called Ms. Golnick. Oh, I'm going to tell her, yeah, I'm going to tell her this, tell her that. When I told Ms. Golnick that my ex was, you know, not even, you know... In the picture. My point exactly. Because, you know what I'm saying? Because I know from previous, from a previous situation what my ex will, what she's capable of. And that's exactly what happened in this situation. And I told Ms. Golnick that firsthand. So she knew this ex comes out of a a bag every once in a while, so Ain't you gotta be prepared for it. Not every once in a while, every relationship. I every relationship. She mm -hmm. comes popping up. Right, because... And yes. starting static. Thank you. Thank Ms. you. Ms. Golnick, what happened with respect to the ex, according to you? He is straight line. She... Okay, now, what he told me is that she was dead. Mm -hmm. He told me that she did not exist, that she was dead, that his children were orphans, you know, his... His family member had his children in St. Louis. How could your children be orphans if I their father is alive? I never, I never told her my children was. See, that's why she lying right there. I never told her my children was an orphan. I told her my children was in a whole other state because I didn't want my, I didn't want my ex involved in my situation because I knew what was going to happen. That's why we are right here standing in front of you right now. So what do you say the ex said to you, Mrs. Goldman? Okay, what she said to me was that uh, she was very much alive. She lived there where we stayed at. And um, that he didn't have two children, but he had eight. <laughs> that he had two other baby mamas where we stayed at. That he had children in St. Louis, one in California. 
You know, she was pretty much breaking down everything. Everything, everything. in his past that you did not know. Yeah. With the number of children that you had, correct? The number of children I had, the, yes, yeah, correct. The ex said you had eight. Okay, I got eight, if you yeah. say so. But you told her two. I told her two, yeah, because... Why would you tell her two when you have eight? Because of the simple fact, uh... <laughs> uh we was, uh... We was just out. At the time, we were just talking. Now, I don't want to, you know, I want to break it in, break the ice easy. Get in all of that. You just, just throw in two kids at a time. Yeah. First year, two yeah. kids. Not, not the next first year, year, another not the two. First year. Like, like this month, okay, it's just these two. And then, then next month is gonna be two more. Then the other month is gonna be two more. So you, I and got you, it, I got it. By then it'd be too late to get too do late anything. Too late to do anything about it. Because you we're could, married. You, you just know? eased it right on in there. Pretty much, you could be like, well, you know, well, she want a Brady bunch, now you got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Your Honor? Yes. It was not the fact that he had eight children or whether his whether or not his ex was dead or not. It was the fact that he lied he about lied it. He lied about it. About what? My kids? No, Mr. Walker, you lied about the ex being dead. You yeah. lied about your number of children. I never can't you can't lie about something y'all never told you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how's that a lie? I never told you. So how's that a lie? So it was just an omission. <laughs> yeah, well, you just yeah. didn't you omitted the information. It wasn't a lie. You Thank just you. didn't tell her about My it. My point exactly. So you I said I got two kids. <laughs> just the fact that you didn't mention the other six is of no import. Hey, hey, hey. I got you. We gotta work together. Miss, now, Mr. Walker. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I think you are a habitual liar. Having said that, I still like you. <laughs> I, so I just want to put that out there. Uh, but let me ask you this. Did you, re when you, when you said, will you marry me, when you said I do, when you slid that ring on a finger, did you really have an intention of saying this thing, you know, to the death do us part, part? No. I did. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie, cause death almost did us part, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. Yeah? I did, but man, when, I'm telling you, man, there's some things, man, when that, when that boy started coming around, it just changed my whole perspective on everything because I'm a jealous man. Right. And I get out of work at 1.30 in the morning and see somebody else in the house, it's like, hey, you know, hey, what to do, what it is. Ms. Goldlinger, you want to respond to that? Yes, he was not in the house. He was in the garage, and it wasn't care. like we was home by but ourselves. Tell her, tell her, Judge, <laughs> that's still in the house. Now, Ms. 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 Goldlinger, that's just ridiculous. And, and you know you shouldn't have a man there, over your... never alone at, one, at It all. don't even matter. At 1.30 in the morning, you in my house, when I'm getting out of work, man, come on, now, that's knockout time. When divorce court continues, are drinking and lying the only items on the list driving Shantae away from Tyrese? After three prior marriages, should Shantae have spent more than two weeks with Tyrese before they got married? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. Now, the two of you met online on a, on a dating site, correct? That's yes. correct. And my understanding is once you saw that guy in there at 1.30 in the morning, you went back on that. Actually, dating site. Yes. But it wasn't for no relationship type deal with nobody else. I, what, what, what did you want? I just wanted somebody to talk to, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. She had somebody to talk to. Why can't I? I can't talk to her. I can't talk to nobody. I just want somebody to talk to. Well, now, do you have any male friends? I mean, you could. I don't you... associate with the guys where we live. I don't associate with them because they ain't on my level. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They on a childish level. I'm not. They're honest. They're not honest. If they were honest, you would be with one of them. <laughs> but I'm saying, it's like, mm. y'all don't, y'all don't some kitty stuff. Let's go get drunk. I, I don't do oh, it like I, that. Baby. I know what you're saying. You know, you're what I'm in one of those disassembled neighborhoods where everybody's kind of hanging and drinking, not working, My point and, is and you're not about that anymore. No, I'm now, Miss Goldman, you know, as annoying as he can be. He has a bit of a point there that he is on his grown man stuff and have have a job. Or it, have I been... I don't have a job. I, 
That's the only thing he has that was true of what he said. Well, why don't you tell me some other lies that he yeah. told you? Okay, it's like, go ahead and call me uh, when you get off work so I can go ahead and start cooking you dinner because it's so late when he gets home and he don't eat nothing I cook at all. Oh, I don't eat that. I don't eat that. Unless he's real hungry, then he'll eat it. But um, he'll call me and he'll be like, oh, I'm just getting off now. And he'll show up at the house in five minutes expecting dinner to be done and be mad when it's not. You know, or he'll come home and say, I just got off of work, but he's pissant drunk. Now, did any of that go on, Mr. Nope. Walker? Were mm -mm. you demanding with your nutrition? No. Nope. Were you unsatisfied with the cooking? Mm -mm. Were you coming home a little tipsy? Some days, yeah, I would come home drunk because of the simple fact, you know, hell, it must have been Friday, payday or something. Something, you, you know. came home drunk. So I came home drunk, okay? Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. Divorce Court, Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. Mrs. Golnick, from your petition, I garnered that what you really think is he never really intended to stay married. And you feel like he got into it, he was just goofing around. So you're asking me for half the cost of the wedding to be returned to you because you don't really feel like he meant it. Did I get that right or am I wrong? Oh, uh, well, no, actually, this is actually an agreement that we had before we got married. But Explain I had that to right me. Then. What, what was the nature of the agreement? The agreement was that he was going to pay half the hotel costs for the full price of the rings. Um, he was supposed to reimburse me for buying his child clothes, school clothes. And he was supposed to also reimburse me gas money that I lent him in order to get to work. You know, mm -hmm. at the time, we wasn't even together. Now, when did all of this occur? Um, that actually uh, was, like, during the time we was going to Vegas uh, to get married. He was supposed to Mr. actually Walker, pay Mr. Walker, did half. you have a discussion regarding the cost of the, of the wedding in which you promised to pay a certain percentage? Well, Judge, I ain't got no memory loss, but I don't recall that. You don't recall that? I don't recall us having no conversation about nothing. Well, let me ask you this. Do you recall paying for any of the wedding yes, costs? Yes, I did. What did you pay how, for? How much I gave you like that? I gave you like, what, about 400 and some dollars to put, built the gas tank up and we did some things in Vegas or whatever, whatever. You know? And then so we're he... supposed to pay monthly on those rings. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, well, this, that's 60 bucks. I'm like, okay. So do you have anything in writing, Ms. Golnick? Do you have any specific terms that you two agreed upon? Um, I do not have anything in writing. Uh, what it was, it was a verbal agreement. And mm -hmm. had I known he wasn't going to pay for half the stuff and not keep his word, I wouldn't have I... done it at all because the money that I, that I had spent on this wedding was actually supposed to have been my summer vacation money with my, kid, my kids. And I thought I was going to get Mr. reimbursed. Ms. Golden, Ms. Walker, I don't know what you two people are doing. I think you don't understand what a marriage is. She... It's like, no. if, if I didn't know he was going to pay half of the wedding cross, I would have gone on vacation. Getting married and going steady are two separate things. Going steady is I like the guy, I'm gonna hang with him a while, see if he, I continue to like him. Marriage is I'm looking long term forever with this guy. She's gonna be my forever lady. And you guys never took it seriously. I no, 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 no. You never took it seriously. 14 days, anybody look good. You don't make a lifelong decision based on 14 days of a good time. And as you two travel for the remainder of your rather bumpy lives, might I suggest, especially to you, quit yeah. procreating along the way. Don't just drop kids hither and yon. You know, you know, you have to have a family and be stable. Having said that, I will say this, that you, you have the burden of proof as the plaintiff. You have to show me something. You have to give me something. You're talking about a verbal agreement, about a, about a marriage. He said he paid these costs and that cost. There's nothing concrete enough to establish a contract. Contracts can be verbal, but they still have to be, have to have specific terms. And yours were if, then, maybe, when, could, not enough to sustain a claim. So there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Shantae and Tyrese agree with the judge that they should have known better than to rush into this marriage. Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll-free 1-877-311-2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.